Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you being here. Landon Tony meeting run just a tad late, but no big deal. So we're going to get started with our call meeting, special call meeting tonight. If you didn't get an agenda, you're welcome to grab your one back here. As you can see, it's a fairly small agenda tonight, and most of it's going to take up with an executive session. But nevertheless, uh, appreciate you being taking your time to come out to the commission meeting tonight. And we will call this meeting to order. And the first thing is to approve the agenda. To have a motion we approve the agenda. I'll make a motion that we approve the agenda, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. West makes that motion. Now, second. A second. Got two seconds. Mr. Franklin made a second there. Any discussion? All in favor? All right. So that means uh, the agenda has been approved. Now we'll move to the executive session is the next thing on the list. And we'll only be talking about one item as personnel tonight. So uh, do I have a motion we'll go into executive session? I'll make a motion that we go into executive session to discuss personnel. Thank you, uh, Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Weston. Second? I'll second. Thank you, Commissioner Wells. I'd like to second. Any discussion? No discussion, all in favor? Got a 5 0 oh, oh. As you can see, we'll go into uh, into the executive session. Uh, last time we stayed in here and asked the people to step out. Tonight we're going to put a mask on and go down to the little room down here in the executive session where y'all can stay comfortable out here. Well, this is good. I'll make a lot of souls we back here. We had a good discussion. So, we're going to come out in executive session. Do I have a motion to come out in executive session? I'll make a motion that we come out of executive session into radio session and approve the minutes that were taken in executive session signed by everybody and give the chairman authority to sign anything else. Uh, for the executive session. Thank you, Commissioner West, to make that motion. I have a second. I'll second. Thank you. Mr. West, uh, uh, Swales, make a second on that. Any discussion, gentlemen? Are, are we going to approve last week's executive session minutes, too, or wait till? Yeah, I'm in that to, okay. you know, to approve last week's executive session minutes, also. Okay, good deal. Any discussion? Any more discussion? Here done, all in favor? Okay, we'll come back to your agenda here. If you got your agenda, we've got some items for discussion. We have approval for interim manager. And, and so I'm gonna ask, do we have a motion for a recommendation for our interim manager? I'll make a motion uh, that we approve Terry Harris as our interim manager appointee. Uh, to uh, shadow our uh, current manager, Beth uh, Thomas, the, re the remainder of her time, and to continue those duties until a uh, official manager is named. Okay. Terry Harris has been uh, uh, recommended, made a motion for Terry Harris to take that position. Do I have a second? A second. Thank you, Commissioner Franklin. Second, second motion. Any discussion? Here's none. All in favor, Terry? Okay, we got a five vote vote, so we'll let Mr. Harris know that uh, he will be shadowing our present manager and interim manager until uh, we get another manager named. Uh, moving, moving on down to the announcements. Let's start over here. That's what you got now. Got now. Yes, sir. I'm good. I don't. Gee, I'm going to be the only one with announcements, but I'll be brief. Uh, <clears throat> I want you gentlemen to, uh, to know this. We've been talking about getting a forensic audit for the airport. And uh, we have located a forensic audit, auditor that uh, I'm going to be with Monday to talk about what what the two counties looking for. I talked to Joy Dawson and he said they was on board, but we won't uh, approve this. I just want to let you know I'm meeting with somebody. We won't approve it till later, I'd say to seven, maybe. We'll see if that falls in that category. But we got uh, Mr. Hollyfield, Chris Hollyfield, 
Uh, I'm gonna be with it at 12:30. So if we got another commission, we can't put three together. But if we got another uh, commission, I'd like to drop out of office at 12:30 Monday. We we will talk to him about uh, getting a possibility, what his cost would be, and this type of thing. Well, excuse me. What was his name? Chris Hollifield. Chris Hollifield, okay. and he's with uh, Rushton's. Okay, Associates. that's what I was he's thinking. The, he's the our auditor. Okay. <clears throat> he he does. He does a lot of audits, and they have a large firm, and he confirmed that they had people that does forensic work. Uh, <clears throat> I was at the District 2 ACC teleconference this afternoon. In fact, it finished up right before 6 o'clock. Uh, but I want to let you know, if you ever have any questions, uh, the, direct, the person to contact from District 2 is... Uh, Ms. Crawford, she's a chair, she's not the chairman, but she's a commissioner in Habersham. So if you if you ever need uh, to talk to uh, someone about District 2, she'd be a good contact person to go to. Um, date, I want you guys to put your dates down, December the 14th or 15th, talking to Joy Dorsey. He wanted to try to get the two commissioners of the counties together, either the 14th or 15th. And he's going to ask his board members to look at those two dates. So, so mark that on your count the 14th and 15th of December. All Did right. you have a time? Pardon? Did you have a time? Uh, no, yeah, well, we get the date down, but we'll... Uh, We'll talk in terms of probably an evening meeting around 6 o'clock, somewhere 14 to 15. And this would be both, both boards? Both. Uh -huh. he, yeah. He's talking to his commissioners. But I want to go ahead and mention that. I just talked to him a couple of days ago because I know how calendars fill up pretty fast. Is, that, is there an issue? I mean, how, is that, okay, I mean, how does that work? Is anything special? We would each need to call a special call meeting for the same, okay. same time, same place. Okay. Yeah, just like we're doing there. Let, let the press know we, we have a joint meeting and this type of thing. Now, <clears throat> on, on the uh, ACCG teleconference that I attended today, it brought out the basic things that they're going to push for. And I know we've been talking about broadband. They're going to be pushing. I didn't realize this. There's a map that shows the area in Franklin County that can't get broadband. I did not know that. I, I was told that today, and so, so we have approximately a third of our county, somewhere in that neighborhood, that had a little difficulty getting broadband. Uh, elections, they're going to be dealing with elections nationally, and uh, doing some work with the judges on getting video conference and so forth, legal quality, property taxes, uh, on the rollback rate is confusion. They're going to try to clean that up. But let me encourage all our commissioners to really get involved with the legislation people. And if you don't talk to anybody that knows what's going on, talk to Todd Edwards, ACCG. He's a liaison. Or Larry, or Christine, or Clint. Those are the four that really knows a lot about what's going on. Now, I've rammed over too much here, so... Next thing on the list is adjournment. Uh, I was just oh. going to say, for our joint meeting, we were looking at those two dates. To the four. Can we have somebody talk to Alan Powell about him oh, being yeah. president? He, he's in on it. I'm sorry to okay. mention that. We, right. Both of us, myself and George, have been talking to Alan, and we actually anticipate and uh, counting on him so ahead. Okay. Up. Right. Good point. All right. Motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. Thank you. Second. I'll second, Mr. Chairman. All in favor? We adjourn.